It's Pathfinder registration time. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Keep watching, I have a simple tip on how to make registration night painless. Hi everyone, this is Audrey with Pathfinder Strong, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about Pathfinder registration. Sometimes all that paperwork and fitting everyone for uniforms and getting everything they need can be overwhelming. And I'm gonna show you tonight how to make the process a little easier. So the way to make your registration process easier is to break things up into stations. So take all the things you need to do and break it up into stations and have each staff member at each station to do a specific task. So for example, this is station one. I have a little sign here that says station one that you're gonna get your registration paperwork. I have a checklist. This is everything that the parents and kids are gonna to need to fill out and provide for the registration process. And then I have signs here clearly stating how much it's gonna to cost to be a Pathfinder or a staff member this year. And I have the um, corresponding paperwork packet all ready to pick up. So when they walk in the door, this is the first station they see. They grab a clipboard, a pen, the paperwork they need, and fill it out and then proceed to station two. So this is station two. It's all about dress uniform. So I have a form here that my staff member filled out and it, it outlines all the different uniform pieces that are needed. They write down the things that need to be ordered. As you can see here, we have a stash, stash of leftover uniform pieces and things that people have outgrown. So if we have the item that they need, we go ahead and just give it to them right then. If not, we fill out what we need to order for them on this form. And then when they're done here, they move to station. Katie. Yes. This is station three. It's all about t-shirts. So we have this tub here of our club t-shirts. And every time I order club t-shirts, I order, always order a few extra so that we can have a nice selection of sizes on hand for anything that anyone that comes in or that needs a shirt or that outgrows a shirt. So when they come here, we find out what size t-shirt they have, how many shirts they already have. And if we have the size they need, we go ahead and give it to them. If not, I have a form that the staff member fills out so that we know how many shirts to order. When they're done here, they move to station four. This is station four and it's all about club information. Here the staff member goes over all the valuable things that, that members will need to know. They get a color-coded copy of the calendar all the way through November. The next thing they get is how to become Pathfinder of the Year. We developed this great infographic on pictocharts.com. It's a free service to make graphics and this is all the things that you need to become Pathfinder of the Year. Next they get a copy of our Hero Awards. These are some different awards based on Bible characters that they can earn this year that goes along with our theme of the year which is True Heroes Uncovered and it's all about Bible characters. And lastly, they get information on our point system, how they can earn points, the different categories, and how they're related to the Pathfinder law. That every 10 points they earn translates to an actual dollar that they can redeem at the end of the quarter and so on. So they get all of this valuable information at Station 4. When they're done here, they move to Station 4. This is station five, and this is where Pathfinders get their book assignments. Every year for our worship, we do some kind of a book study. And our book study this year is called Heroes of the Bible Devotional. So we purchase these books, and part of the registration and fee includes that each Pathfinder gets a copy of this book. So we put a sticker on it with their name. They also get a notebook that they will use all year to journal things from their worship book, to do their honor papers, and anything else. We'll glue in a copy of the Pathfinder of the Year requirements and the points, categories, and everything so that those things are fresh in their mind and at their fingertips. So we also put their names on that. Once they have these things issued to them, then they move to Station 6. This is station six, the final one, where they check out and pay. So here what I do is go over their registration checklist and make sure that they've turned in all the things that they need to. I make sure that I have copies of all the Pathfinders and, and staff 
adult driver's license and car insurance in case they ever do the driving. I make sure that everyone's paperwork is filled out completely. I take their money or put them on a payment plan and uh, just uh, I take their picture and just wrap up, make sure they have any questions, answer them. So it's just literally check out, pay the money, and then they're all done. Breaking your registration process up into stations can be a great way to stay organized, utilize all your staff members, and make sure that you get all the different information pieces that you need, as well as give all the information pieces that you need. If you try, have tried stations already in your club, I'd love to know how it went. If you have photos, I'd love for you to share them. Or if you've never tried this before, give it a try and let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you next time.